Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another Mail Monday. If you guys don't know, this is where we unbox the coolest Pokemon goodies from around the world. So everything I've got here, I ordered it from eBay. Today's just going to be a bunch of singular um, cards. We've got five in total. There was actually a few more I did order, but unfortunately haven't all arrived yet. And I need to get this video in now, so I decided just to go with the five. Now, I've decided to make this like a weekly thing. I'm not really sure how long it's going to last, but hopefully we can make it last a long, long time. Hopefully 100 episodes, which is quite a lot. But I've seen other YouTubers do it. It looks like a lot of fun. Most people actually get stuff sent to them. I actually order my own stuff from eBay, 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 as I mentioned before. And I actually ordered these like two weeks ago, so I kind of forgot um, what I ordered now. But whatever I ordered, it should be really cool. So we're just going to tear through these like a, a hungry cat, if that makes sense, and uh, see what we can get inside. So um, everything I do, I order is usually from America or from my own country, which is the United Kingdom. Uh, I just really hate ordering things from abroad because it takes a long time. Even America, I mean, that's quite far away, so that takes like two weeks to get here. Japan takes you roughly around the same time. But first up, we have an old school card here. Do you know, I'm not even sure which um, set this is from, but it looks really awesome. It's a Pidgeot. Um, yeah, very old school in very good condition. We're going to try and take this out. It's all like taped up right now, so I don't really want to mess around with it too much. But it looks really beautiful. Do you know what? We're just going to hold it there because I'll probably spend forever trying to get this out of its... Um, card holder but yeah really sweet one move sharp beak wow but if you recognize all the older cars are actually um less superior to some of the newer ones i'm not really sure why but um yeah really pretty card i love the red effect in um in the hollow area there actually this is a reverse hollow but yeah i just like the, the middle effect there. actually no this could be a full hollow no this is reverse hollow all right it's actually quite hard to see inside this um display case but yeah really pretty card and a great way to start things i've actually ordered this one maybe three weeks ago i've kept like everything stored in my bedroom until enough has um came for this video but next up we have okay this is some unique packaging a really funny stamp here if you can see that that's that's really weird I'm not sure if you can see it we've got the little focus there really weird and anyway let's see if we can get inside we want to open that carefully we don't want to tear our card in there do we but we have Okay, we're going Japanese here. We've gone Japanese. What the hell did I order, which was Japanese? I've actually got one thing in mind. This could be a slow bro. It could be. I can't guarantee, but I think it may be. And it is. Very securely packaged. I've got to give him a thumbs up for that over on eBay. But you know, I always forget to leave feedback on eBay, which I kind of feel bad about because I get a lot of good service. You do get the odd person who can't take their time, but it always gets there in the end. And here we go. Japanese slow bro. Really, really pretty card. A hollow foil that is special do you know i used to have one of these in the english version but um back when i was a kid i think we had like a car boot sale my mum got a, a rid of a lot of my things luckily some of my pokemon cards survived but this one did not survive unfortunately so i thought i'd make a return bring it back but this time in japanese i love the back design there and there we go we're off to a fantastic start even though i purchased all myself we're off to a great start anyway moving on to the next one so two old school cars there uh, we'll see what we get inside this one all right here we go Hope you guys like the background as well. I'm always like exper experimenting with um, <laughs> my background when I make these Pokemon videos. But yeah, this one was kind of like a rush, but I mean, it looks quite, oh wow, oh wow. Jeez, I forgot I ordered this guy. Holy smokes, Moltres EX. This is actually really, really tough to get. The Mouth Plasma Storm packs I've, I've purchased, I've never had anything this good. And this is not even like the rarest card from that set. But I'm just really pleased to finally have this because fire types are kind of my thing. Really awesome effects here, a Moltres EX. Damn, that is special. So these things are actually quite pricey. I actually won this in an auction. One of my late night um, eBay sprees. I think I actually won this one at like 3 in the morning. It's kind of weird though how people actually have their bids end at that time. Because it's like the worst time possible. I mean, if you're the seller, having your bids, your auctions finish at that time is really, really bad. You want it to finish at least early evening or something like that. But here we go. Wow. Destructive Flame. Power Flame, none of this makes any sense to me because I've actually never played the card game, but it was something I would, I would really like to get into, and yeah, great start. That's three Pokemon, I'm pleased with all of them, hopefully you guys are as well, and uh, yeah, let me know what your favourite card has been so far for me, I think it's Moltres, no doubt about that. The Moltres is really cool as well, well I just said Moltres, the, the Slowbro is really cool as well, and next up we have a pre-release Misty's Seedra, very very old school here once again, really beautiful card, I actually won this one for around one pound 80 something something around that anyway less than two pounds which is a very very good price um for a card it's not like the rarest card you're gonna find out there but old school cards are just nice to collect they're nice to have these days and it is a pre-release version so i'm really pleased with that so when i sell my cards i can actually use these as well to um send mine off in so it works out really really good anyway 
Wow, Misty Seed, your tail snap, knockout needle. We're gonna take this one out here just so you guys can have a clearer look. There we go, so mint condition, really, really nice. I love the hollow effects there. Misty Seedra. Yeah, so these, these are actually from the Gym Leader booster packs. They were quite early on in the in the Pokemon card series. I never actually had too many of those. I think the only Gym Leader cards I had was Blaine's Arcanine, and I think that actually may be all. So yeah, this is, I definitely need to add to my collection in that department, but some of those booster packs are very, very pricey these days. But yeah, I'm, I rather would just buy them individually because you never know what to expect in your boosters these days. So uh, last but not least we have, I really can't confirm that, we're gonna find that for ourselves. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Mail Mondays. Uh, they will be around every Monday of course. And next we have the Blissey. So um, I think these are actually from the Heart Gold Soul Silver set or something along those lines anyway. Um, this one's actually taped up very securely so we can't actually dive inside just yet. But Blissey, he evolves from the Chansey, 130 health points, strength is its move, 60 attack. Really, really pretty card here. Kind of like equivalent to an EX card, but I'm not really sure what you would call these. But yeah, maybe just like a half art. I'm not really sure what you would call it from these days. But yeah, Blissful Nurse, really pretty card here. And that's going to be all for now, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. You can actually see my reflection in the card. So how are you all doing? You can see me waving right now. Well, I can see myself. I'm not really sure if you guys can see me. But that's going to be all for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you do want to see more of these Mail Mondays, just let me know down in the comments below. Please be sure to give your appreciation by hitting that thumbs up button because it really does help. And I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.